Welcome back to Local 5 this morning. It's time now for our very first community update with Nina Mayer. Dean Colfer, thanks for joining us this hey, morning. Thanks for having me. Now, let's start with downtown housing. Are there a few options available? Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're working with developers uh, from around the state who are interested in downtown housing. We have one area in particular that's uh, adjacent to the water, and that's real exciting for people. It's downtown. Uh, the, the new young people that are working at places like Plexus and Alta, they want to live and they want to work in downtown. They want to be close to their job. They want to be close to hospitality. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really kind of cool and exciting, the things that are on the horizon with regards to downtown housing. All right. Another project in the works right now, Chase Bank is being remodeled. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah. And, you know, on, on the other end of the downtown district, uh, Chase Bank, uh, second, third floor, haven't been used for a while. A new owner, local downtown uh, owner. And that individual is putting a lot of money into renovating the second, the third floor, trying to get more jobs downtown. Uh, and that's what drives downtown Nina and, and the great little vintage stores we have and the Vintique and all the different uh, novelty stores. And what really makes Nina special is the downtown area, uh, along with all our other merchants around the city. But the shoppers come from, you know, the workers at the lunch hour and after work. They, they, they patronize the, the business downtown. So that particular project could open up some new uh, slots uh, for the downtown area. One of the, the negatives or the, the difficulties that happens then by bringing 10,000 people working downtown every day is parking. And so I, as the mayor and the city council, we still got some work to do with regards to finding enough parking stalls to have that mix and blend of providing parking for the workers, but yet making sure the shoppers have places to park, too. Let's switch gears and talk about the Pendleton Park Project. What's that all about? Yeah, 144 uh, really nice higher-end apartments uh, when it's completed. Uh, very nice development. You know, Nina, we, we have some uh, issues with where we can grow, and so this is on the outskirts of the city, uh, annexed to the city, now part of the, the, the community, and uh, going to provide a lot of nice housing options for people to, uh, you know, what they're finding is they're finding that people are maybe getting out of their home and they're, they're settling in there. And it's a very nice project, 144 units, and uh, it's coming along nicely. So a lot of new housing developments in the works. You were saying that that's on the outside of the city. Let's go back downtown to the reoccupied towers. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about that project there. Yeah, well, you know, the towers, we lost, unfortunately, Bemis. Uh, Amcor uh, t took over Bemis. They had a little bit of reorganization and, and moved some people around. They left the towers. We have three downtown towers, which are the catalyst and the really, you know, for, for a lot of uh, or business uh, throughout the community and the area. And so we had some openings. We had some floors open in that. We're in the process of helping refill them. And we're getting some great new companies, smaller companies who are taking maybe one or two floors. I think it's a seven-floor uh, building. And so that's exciting, too, because we're filling them back up. And it's, it's uh, you know, it's cyclical, and, and we're hopeful that they're going to be with us a long, long time. But it's really positive news for the city of Nina. Let's talk about Arrowhead Park and Loop the Lake. Yeah. Uh, one of the very first things uh, when I became mayor, uh, the exciting thing is uh, uh, this Loop the Lake project. And, you know, connecting three communities, City of Nina, City of Menasha, and also the village of Fox Crossing now. And putting these bridges around the river uh, in Nina and Menasha, 3.2 miles of just pure fun, ec excitement. Uh, people re relax on it. They go out there, relax. The, they take their bike, the kids. You're always seeing people out there. And it's really a great part for all three communities. It's a destination. It actually brings people in. They hear about it. And they, you know, they're here for a short period of time. Uh, people that come for the Bridgewood Hotel or the downtown hotel, they actually take time to check out the uh, Loop the Lake project. All right, a lot of great stuff happening in Nina, the downtown area, really all over the city. Oh. And we got Mayor Cawford here to explain uh, some of the things in the works. So thank you for the time this thank morning. You. Thank you for having me. We'll get a check on your forecast coming up on Local 5 this morning. Stay with us.